they're big, deep, and sometimes dangerous. Yes, they are the dreaded potholes that we Edmontonians deal with every spring. So what can we do to protect our vehicles and ourselves? We're here with Randy from AMA. Now, potholes, can't avoid them. Um, are there preventative measures people can take in order to prevent having a flat tire next time they hit a big hole? Yes, first of all, what you wanna do now is slow down. There are a lot of potholes in the city and in the small rural areas in Alberta. So the first thing you wanna do is be very aware of what's going on around you. Look ahead, if you see holes, uh, slow down, try and avoid them, but you also have to be careful there. You don't want to do too many darts and weaves because it gets you in a collision with another vehicle. So the first thing you want to do is slow down when you see something approaching. And what kind of damage are you guys seeing from potholes? First thing that can happen possibly is you can damage your tire itself. Secondly, your rim. You can damage your rim. Uh, thirdly, you can lose, of course, a hubcap. Uh, and also do damage to your front end of the vehicle. And we've seen in some cases where the frame of the vehicle can be damaged too. So the first thing you wanna do is if you do hit something hard, is your vehicle steering different than it was just prior to the hit? If it is, you need to get it into a repair shop as soon as possible, have them check out the front end. Now, what are other kind of warning signs people can look for uh, when they hit a big pothole? Well, you can get out and inspect the vehicle. You wanna look for any damage to the rim, damage to the tire. If you feel your steering wheel shaking or if your steering wheel is offset a little bit, those are all warning signs that you've done damage to your vehicle. So the next time you hit that big pothole, make sure to check your vehicle. And if you see any signs of damage, be sure to take it into your nearest repair shop. For Go Edmonton, I'm Charles Sasaskiw.